Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And you can see I'm using macOS Sequoia on my AMD PC with the processor AMD Ryzen 5600G and with APU. And it's working perfectly fine. You can see the graphics acceleration is working fine. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install macOS Sequoia on any PC. So without getting much more delay, let's get started. So first of all, open the browser and search for Upcore Simplify. Click the very first link. Now click on code, download zip. Now it's downloaded, scroll a little bit and here you will find hardware sniffer. Click on here. Now click on latest. Now scroll a little bit. Click on hardware sniffer exe. Now when it's downloaded, close it. Now open the file manager. Go to download. And here you will find hardware sniffer and of course simplify. Double tap on hardware sniffer. Click on more info. Run anyway. Minimize this. Now here we have three options. T toggle hardware for and view short or full and h for export hardware report and a to dump acpi table now let me make it full screen now top h and hit enter now it's done now type a and hit enter now let's take minimize this go to download folder and here you can see results and in results there is a file report uh, station go back Again, be on result. You can go to here and again type A and hit enter. Just wait a few seconds. Now you can see it's generated. Go to download folder again and here you can see ACPI dump is there. And results folder includes ACPI and report.json. In results, everything's are there. Okay, and go back and close it. Now, extract this Opera Simplify file, right click on it, extract all, extract, and now it's done. Select the folder and drag and drop it to desktop. Now it's done. Now you can delete this to folder and file. Delete it. Now, put it here. Let's open this folder Opera Simplify on the desktop. Now, Go back and download folder and here you'll find SCP dump. Okay, let's copy. Just right click on it. Select copy. And now go to script folder and just right click on here. Paste it. And select replace file and destination. Now it's done. Go back. Again, right click on here. And paste it. Replace the file destination. Now it's done. Okay. Now just double tap on Opera Simplify tool. Now you can close this folder. Keep this here like this. And now type 1. Hit enter. Now type E. To export and hit enter. Now what a few seconds here. Now I can see every important things are added here. Here is the CPU details. My CPU is Ryzen 5600G and they can support up to Mac OS Tahoe 26 and Radeon T graphics. Uh, they can support from Mac OS Catalina 10.15 to Mac OS Tahoe 26. Okay, now let's come to the audio and uh, wireless usb adapter that means my wi-fi and the ethernet and that means you can see everything supported up to mac os tahoe 26 but in this video we'll try installing mac os sonoma okay then hit enter and now we'll select mac os versions for example if you want to install mac os carolina 10.15 then you'll have to type 19 and in my case I want to install macOS Sonoma 14 so 
I will have to type 23 and hit enter. Now what we're gonna do is customize SCPI patch. Type 3 and hit enter. Now you can see those are the supported SCPIs. Now if you want to change anything, I recommend it, don't do. Simply type B and go back, hit enter. Now if you want to customize the text, type 4 and hit enter. Now you can see which are marked as green, that means it's selected and which are marked as white, you can select. Those are supported to your PC and those are in ash color, those are not supported. Don't try them out because those are not supported, okay? And uh, if you want to change anything, you can change. But here we end. We go back, type B and hit enter, okay? Now the last part is customize SMBIOS model, type 5 and hit enter. Now here the same case. If you want to customize your SMBIOS settings, you can do. In the same way, you can use this. iMac 19,1, 19,2, 20,1, 20,2, and then Mac Mini 8,1, then iMac Pro 1,1. .1. In my case, it's already selected, so I'll do nothing and type B, go back. Now here's the final part. Type 6 and hit on enter. Now it will generate a UFI. Now, you'll have to select one of them. By default, it's selected as 11. Type as a default. In my case, it's 11. I'm typing 11 and hit enter. Now, you'll have to type agree. Agree. Then hit enter. Now, you can see it's done. And if a folder is ready. Okay. Now, you can close everything. Now, we don't need this file too. You can delete them. Right click. And delete. Okay. Select the EFI and drag and drop it to download. Now it's done, close it. Now we're gonna move to the next step. So, after EFI is ready, then it'll have to download these files. Explore++, macOS double command, Minitool partition, macOS Sequoia, and Rufus. So, Explore++, macOS double command, and Minitool partition tool downloading link will be given in the description. Now. How to download macOS Sequoia image and Rufus. Let's find out. Open a browser and search for Olorilla. And here you'll find the link olorilla.com over on the side. You click on here. Just wait for 5 seconds. Let's then close it. Now click on vanilla images. Scroll a little bit. And here you will find macOS images. So in this video, I'm gonna install macOS Sequoia. Then I'll have to click on the media file link. If you want to install macOS Tahoe, Sonoma, Ventura, or anything else, please make sure you're clicking on the media file link. Click on media file and download from there. Now, again, search for root foods. And he'll find the link rufus.ie. Open it. Scroll a little bit. And he'll find the links to download. Click on the latest and download will start it. Whenever the download is completed, close the browser. Now, first thing you need to install Minitool Partition. Then you will have to double tap on Rufus. Click on yes. Now, click on select. Go to download folder. And now, click on this drop down, select all files, and he will see all over the Sequoia. Select it and click on open. Now, you will have to insert a pinned up minimum 32GB to a PC and click on start. But before starting, make sure that every data on your pin drive is backed up. Because in this process, you'll lose everything on your pin drive. Your pin drive will be formatted. Now, click on start, click on OK. Now it's gonna take 10 to 15 minutes, you'll have to wait. So, when it's completed, it will show ready and click on close. Now it's done. Now, you'll have to launch Minitool Partition. Click on yes. Now click on launch. Now, you'll have to choose your USB drive. And now select EFI drive from there. Right click on here. Select change later. 
click on OK. Now click on Apply. Click on Yes. Click on OK. Now it's done. Close it. Now open the Explore Plus Plus folder. And here you'll find Explore Plus Plus file logo. Right click on it. Run as administrator. Click on Yes. Now go to Download. And here is your UFI. Right click on it. Copy. And now go to this PC. And here is the UFI drive. Open it. And right click on here. Paste it. Now it's completed. Close it. Go back. And now I'm going to close it. Right click on the start menu. Select disk management. Now from there, you have to create a drive with a size minimum 100 gigabytes. Right click on a bigger drive. Choose sync volume. Choose its size. Click on shrink. And now it's done. Right click on an allocated space. Choose a new simple volume. Click on next. Click on next. Click on next. Choose the name as Sequoia and click on next. Click on finish. Now it's done. Close it. Now you gotta restart your PC and access the BIOS menu. To access the BIOS menu, you can open this photo. Otherwise, you can search in Google. Now in the BIOS menu, you gotta change the following changes. And after doing all the changes, hit obtain on your keyboard and click on OK. And now this time, you'll have to access the boot menu of the PC. To access the boot menu, you can repeat this photo, otherwise you can search in Google. From the boot menu, you'll have to choose USB drive and hit enter. Now in this screen, you'll have to select macOS Sequoia and hit enter. Now in the screen, you'll have to select the language and click on this arrow. Now here, choose Disk Utility. Click on Continue. Now from the drop down, select Show All Devices. And now, select Final Sequoia from there and click on Erase. Click on the drop down, select APFS, click on Erase. It's done. Click on Done. Now close it. Now, choose Install macOS Sequoia and click on Continue. Again, click on Continue. Click on Agree. Again, click on Agree. And now, select Sequoia Tribe and click on Continue. The installation has started. Please make sure during the installation process your PC may restart several times. Each time your PC restarts, You'll have to access the boot menu, and from the boot menu, you'll have to select your pen drive and boot your PC from the pen drive. That's it. Now this time, you will see macOS installer. Select it and hit enter. Now here, it gotta wait for 30 minutes. Again, select the macOS installer and hit enter. Now, this time select macOS Sequoia and hit enter. Again, select Sequoia and hit enter. Now, here you'll have to choose your location. Click on continue. Now, click on setup as new. Click on continue. Click on continue. Click on now. Click on my computer doesn't connect to internet. Click on continue. Click on continue. Click on continue. Again, click on continue. Now, here you'll have to create a Mac account. Full name, account name. Password and hint. Then click on continue. Now click on agree. Again, click on agree. Now 
if you want it in any location, you can. Then click on continue, click on the use, choose your time zone or city. Click on continue and check this and click on continue. Set up later. Click on continue. Choose the Siri voice. Click on continue. Select now. Where you can choose your recording. Where you can share your recording. Click on continue. Now choose your theme and click on continue. Click on continue. Now welcome to Mac. Click on continue. Click on quit. Now open install macro square file. Select the files folder from there and drag and drop it to desktop. Close A. Now it's done. Open the files folder and scroll a bit and scroll here. Scroll here and here you will find open core configurator. Double tap on it and close the folder. Now select this tool and click on tools on the top select mount ufi now here this is my ssd and this is the usb now first click on mount partition of ssd put the password of a mac os and click on ok now it's done click on open partition now keep it here now again click on mount partition and now open the partition now this is the usb drive partition you can close it now minimize this okay open the ufa folder here also here and now select this two right click on them select copy and now this can be here right click on here select paste two items select apply to all choose replace when it's done close it close it and now restart the pc and boot into windows now again go to file explorer go to downloads and here is my double command and the same command will be given in the description too select it and copy close it close it now click on start search for cmd select the run as administrator click on yes now right click on here and it's pasted hit enter now it's done now a double is ready the roster and check the double is working or not roster Now I can see the boot is there in Sequoia. Hit enter. Enter your password. Hit enter. Now it's done. Congratulations, you've successfully installed macOS Sequoia on your computer.